Have you ever wondered about the future of optimism and its price prediction? Well, let's dive into it together. In recent months, optimism has been struggling to cross above the $1.45 mark. It faced a significant downturn in October, with sellers taking advantage of bearish pressure. However, things that seemed to stabilize as it hovered around $1.18 at press time. Meanwhile, Bitcoin surprised everyone with an upswing starting on Sunday, October 16th, recovering most of its recent losses. Opie took inspiration from BTC's positive movement and experienced a bounce as well. However, it encountered a roadblock above $125, hindering its progress. Uh, the question now arises, will sellers exploit this overhead hurdle? Looking at OP's higher time frame market structure bias, it currently leans towards bearish. The price action is below the recent lower high of $1.21. Interestingly, this lower high aligns of a curb with an H12 bearish order block ranging from $1.26 to $1.285. Two critical hurdles lie above the immediate resistance. With this bearish market structure bias, sellers could potentially exploit the immediate hurdle of $1.26 to $1.2085, allowing them to gain a 5% shorting profit if the price retests $1.18. However, if the price manages to surpass this overhead obstacle, it would invalidate the aforementioned bearish bias. On the other hand, there is some mild buying pressure indicated by the uptick in the relative strength index. However, capital inflows into the Layer 2 native token have declined in October, as shown by the southward movement of the Chaikin money flow. First, looking at the bigger picture, it seems that optimism sellers are currently maintaining control over the market. Now let's consider the value of OP tokens. As of now, how much are 1, 10, or 100 OPs worth. Uh, since October 8th, the demand for OP in the futures market uh, has been on the decline, uh, leading to a negative sentiment uh, reflected in dropping open interest rates. Uh, this weakening demand has given sellers more market uh, leverage, uh, as shown by uh, the downsloping uh, cumulative volume delta. Um, so, uh, however, there's a glimmer of hope as the funding rates have turned positive in the past few hours, uh, indicating an improvement in market sentiment. Uh, if the price action came to surge as above 1.288 and flips uh, the higher time frames market structure to bullish, uh, the bearish bias will be invalidated. And now for a lighthearted touch to conclude, here's a short joke about optimism. Why did the optimism token go to therapy? Because it was feeling a bit bearish. Uh, with that said, it's thanks for reading and watching. Until next time.